So hello there from my rearing experiment with Otacus Atlas. I have a good news and bad news also. The good news you can see here the first caterpillar start um, making their cocoon with this Fogoro silk, kind of a reddish color, reddish brown color. Uh, I also have some macro uh, um, videos about how they do it and you can see it here on the on the lid of one of these plastic containers where the caterpillar starts now to build the cocoon it has fixed a lot of security ropes around the place where it actually is making uh, the cocoon and also it has uh, fixed it onto a piece of uh, of um, a branch so that in case of wind or whatever it can't fall to the ground. You can also see it a little bit the brownish reddish color. Um, the bad thing is that I lost three more uh, larvae and uh, really uh, caterpillars and I really don't know exactly why but I have a, um, a, a one of the things that I should have done before I put in some new leaves is wash them because my neighbor is a farmer he brought out uh, some sewage and sprayed it over the field over the um, yesterday and I just after this I just picked the leaves and I think they could have been uh, spoiled with some bacteria or whatever stuff is in there and, and all of them they died they just like this you know they just hang down from the from the branch and died. All three of them that were in here. This one too. Yes. And another one is here on the ground of them. They emptied their gut content before. That's what you can see here. If you look at this uh, at this uh, paper here. These are the particles of the of the gut content. Uh, but now this one is dead already also. So let's pay attention, if you add some new food, be sure uh, that it's clean stuff. Look, here is, an, is this dead caterpillar with the content of the, of the gut, with these little pieces. That's what they eat out of the leaves here, these little uh, greenish pieces. And here is the dead L5 uh, caterpillar. So that's the bad luck. But now let's... Um, we have to learn about this that for Otacus Atlas probably it's very important to clean the leaves so that there is uh, and no other stuff on it than only the green leaves themselves. So that's what I learned from that. So now let's have a look to the other cocoon that I've seen already. Uh, now here it's the same thing that the caterpillar did it fixed one part of the cocoon to a little branch and the other part to the other things that are inside the box like for like this paper here this uh, toilet paper here and also it it made a lot of this uh, security ropes with this Fagora silk uh, to fix the pupa at the end to keep it in the place it is so okay here you can take away this paper so that's the uh, the pupa and I have let's have a look here so here also um, there are two more one you can see here also the same structure it's uh, this is very nice because this is very typical just put it onto or, or a little bit into one of these leaves here and then fixed it additionally And then fix it here additionally on this uh, 
on this branch. Yes, and also you can see the size compared to a Bombix Mori here or a, or a normal Samia Oricini. Or if you want, you can have also compared it with Amtere. Apparently, this is this one. So it's it's a lot bigger, as uh, you can see here. And I have one more here somewhere. So let's see whether we can find this one also. Yes, this is hidden a little bit. Yeah. In between these leaves. Voila. Here we have it. Also nice and big. Try to cut it out a little bit so that we can see it better. Not sure whether yet whether they have yet finished building the whole structure here. But I think so. This is typical also the color. It's a little bit brownish, shiny, silky, shiny. And this is also a pretty big one. So the length can be around seven to eight centimeters too and and they are pretty heavy also. So now have, do we have some more here? Let's have a look. Now at the moment we have uh, four of them and the fours again you can see here finishing the cocoon in a while. So interesting is also that normally Otakus is feeding in the night only and um, as soon as it starts building the cocoon it also works uh, 24 hours a day so it doesn't stop working now even if it's uh, a very um, a lot of light here so normally if you would have seen a caterpillar as soon as the lights going on they stop doing anything they're just waiting uh, there yes yeah, so let's see whether we can bring them through the next stage we have only four, I think. I have one more somewhere here. Uh, I have a fifth one, probably in the in the other in the other room already. So we had four to five. Nice uh, Otacus Atlas adults. Later, let's hope that we have a male and a female, so that the breeding of this beautiful species is going on. Thanks for watching.